Hey Church, welcome to this week's Bible reading. This Sunday, the 7th of June, we will be back in our series in Esther, Finding Hope When God Seems Hidden. Esther chapter 7. So the king and Haman went to Queen Esther's banquet. On the second occasion, while they were drinking wine, the king again said to Esther, Tell me what you want, Queen Esther. What is your request? And I will give it to you, even if it is half the kingdom. Queen Esther replied, If I have found favour with the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my request, I ask that my life and the lives of my people will be spared. For my people and I have been sold to those who would kill, slaughter, and annihilate us. If we had merely been sold as slaves, I could remain silent, for that would have been too trivial a matter to warrant disturbing the king. Who has done such a thing, King Xerxes demanded? Who would be so presumptuous as to touch you? Esther replied, The wicked Haman is our adversary and our enemy. Haman grew pale with fright before the king and queen. Then the king jumped to his feet in a rage and went out into the palace garden. Haman, however, stayed behind to plead for his life with Queen Esther, for he knew that the king intended to kill him. In despair, he fell in the crouch where Queen Esther was reclining, just as the king was returning from the palace garden. The king exclaimed, Will he even assault the queen right here in the palace before my very eyes? And as soon as the king spoke, his attendants covered Haman's face, signalling his doom. Then Harbona, one of the king's eunuchs, said, Haman has set up a sharpened pole that stands 75 feet tall in his own courtyard. He intended to use it to impale Mordecai, the man who saved the king from assassination. Then appeal Haman on it, the king ordered. So they impaled Haman on the pole he had set up for Mordecai, and the king's anger subsided. I'd love you to take time to read through that passage for yourself. It's a better way to engage with the chapter and prepare for Sunday. I look forward to joining you online this Sunday. Be blessed. Be safe.